Good morning class. Today you all will be doing the motor controls lab. The first lab that deals with the motor. Alright. When you start, the green light comes on and the motor comes on. Hit the stop button, the red light is energized. Alright, in the next segment I am going to show you the components that you all are going to be working with. Give me a second. All right, as you see, I have my black, my red, and my blue. These are all my power wires. They're going all the way across, okay? Nice and neat, all the way down, okay? And they're going right here, all right? This is the forward contactor. I am going to introduce what the forward contactor is. It operates and acts just as well as the control relays, all right? Also, in this project, I am going to discuss what the overload relay is, okay? This component right here is the overload relay, all right? This is the motor. This is the motor wires that goes into the overload relay, okay? I am going to discuss that. Also, with the overload relay, has the normally closed. The overload relay, I will further discuss why we have the two white wires in the overload relay, all right? Also, this is the terminal block for the coil relay, all right? I'm going to discuss that. So those are the few things that we're gonna learn new, which is the motor, the overload relay, and the contactor, all right? Give me one second. All right, here is today's line diagram. Up here is a 208 three-phase power side of the circuit, okay? You tap from line one in the neutral, go to the transformer of 120, to the primary side, come out of the low voltage side or the secondary side, 24 volts. You have your stop button, your start button, and your forward contactor. F stands for forward contact. Not control relay, but the forward contact. All right? Normally open. That's your looping latch. Okay? You got your normally open and your normally closed of your forward contact. Normally closed goes into the red light and normally open goes to the green light, okay? That's what you all are going to do today in class, and I will further explain a little bit more in class. This lab is gonna take some time, so I don't wanna waste any time for you all to start. I don't want any delays, so I'm gonna explain a little bit in class. I have the prototype wired up so you all can actually see what's going on.